hi beautiful people welcome back to the channel my name is lola fafi and in today's video we are going to be making this quality liquid soap now if you've been making liquid soap in the past and you've just never gotten a good quality liquid soap this video is for, for you or you are just a beginner you've never made liquid soap in the past at all this video is also for you do ensure to watch till the end to avoid missing important steps now let's quickly go over the safety precautions you must take while handling chemicals or while producing liquid soap do not make preparations near naked flame or fire keep all chemicals away from the reach of children do not taste soap chemicals avoid direct contact of soap chemicals with the skin or eyes always wear your gloves when handling chemicals now i'll be showing you all chemicals that will be used and their quantity and also how it will be dissolved in water the first chemical that will be dissolved in water is nitrosol in 250 grams or one over four nitrosol looks like powdered milk the next one is caustic soda caustic soda ha looks just like sugar and we need this in just three tablespoons Now, soda ash. Soda ash, we need this in 500 grams or 1 over 2. Soda ash has coarse crystals and it is in dirty white color. The next one is texapon. We need this in 250 ml or 1 over 4. Texapon looks like prepared starch. Another one is sodium tripolyphosphate, also known as STPP. This looks like table salt and we need this in 250 gram or 1 over 4. Another one is sulfonic acid. We need this in 1000 ml or 1 liter. This looks like it has this dark thick look. It looks like honey. Yes, just like honey. Um, the next one is foaming booster in 250 grams or 1 over 4. Another one is color color you can use whatever color you want you need this in um just a spoon or so the last one is fragrance or perfume i'm going to use ambipore for the purpose of this production you want to ensure you get a clean bowl just like this one and um, get a bowl that has measurement guide yeah measurement guide just like what i'm showing you in the video so then in this bowl i'm going to pour exactly 25 liters of water please pay attention to the quantity of water i'm going to use for this production so ensure to always wear your gloves you don't want chemicals to burn your hand you don't just want it so put on your gloves to be safe and you know secure it's better safe than sorry in these 25 liters of water, I'm going to pour in my nitrosol. Please ensure to get someone that would stir for you while you add chemicals to your water or while you produce liquid soap. You don't want to buy chemicals and, you know, waste it while you stir and add chemicals yourself. So just ensure you get someone to stir for you. I hope this makes sense. Now, I got a separate bucket. I added two liters of water, just as you can see in the video. And in these two liters of water, I'm adding three spoons of caustic soda in a separate bucket. You can use bowl, you can just use something. So, three, exactly three spoons of caustic soda. And I'm going to stir this um, thoroughly until the caustic soda dissolves in water, in these two liters of water. Then I'm going to add it, when it dissolves, I'm going to add it gradually into the nitrosol in the big bowl. So I didn't know the camera was not recording at this moment, at the point when I was adding the caustic soda into the nitrosol. So please bear with me. So at this point, I have added the uh, caustic soda that I mixed separately into the bowl that I mixed um, nitrosol. The solution is starting to thicken up. Now, the next one is soda ash. Soda ash, um, you add it, you pour it into a two lit separate two liters of water as well, just like I did caustic soda. And you stir, you want to stir thoroughly before adding it to the chemical in the big bowl. 
so this is me stirring my soda hash thoroughly when your soda hash dissolves then you add it to the solution in the big bowl so that is just what i'm doing right there so you add it to the solution in the big bowl and continue stirring you continue stirring now take that one you had your text up on directly into the big bowl. You don't have to mix with a separate two liters of water. This is because text up on is in liquid form. So when you are done adding, you continue stirring. You do not stop. Don't stop stirring. Now, next one is STPP. You also mix STPP, STPP in a separate two liters of water. You stir it thoroughly until it dissolves. When it dissolves, you add it to your solution in the big bowl. I hope I'm making sense. So guys, as you are watching this video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your loved ones, okay? And also, check the channel. We have lots of amazing videos like just like this one. So, we have added our FTPP into the big bowl that has our solution in it where the main production is taking place so then we are going to move on um we are adding our sulfonic acid into the solution this is because we are not going to use separate two liters of water this is because sulfonic acid is in liquid form sulfonic acid is a thickener and is also a foaming agent so it allows, it makes your liquid soap foam, it makes it thick. So ensure you stir your sulfonic acid thoroughly. You stir for several minutes, uh, for about five minutes until it completely, it completely circulates into your solution. The next one is foaming booster. We are going to add foaming booster directly into our solution. Please, please note that the color of this foaming booster does not affect the color of your um, liquid soap in any way. Whatever color of foaming booster you get is totally fine. I have seen, um, I think I've seen cream color, I've seen um, transparent color in the past, and I've seen this orange color. So whatever color you get, it's totally fine. It's not going to affect the color of your liquid soap. Now onto the main cocoa that beautifies our liquid soap which is color in a separate um wa water i'm going to add just about a spoon this depends on how thick you want your color to look or how transparent you want your color to look um color blue is a very intense color so a little we do so I added it into about a liter of water, it's just a spoon, just a tiny bit, a bit of color into a, a liter of water and I'm stirring thoroughly before adding it to my solution. Now watch the magic. So right now I'm adding it, this looks so good. <laughs> So you ensure to stir, you ensure to stir your color into your solution thoroughly. You don't want one side of your solution of your liquid soap to have color and the other side another color. You want your color to match. You want the color to, you know, um, what do I say now? <laughs> you just want your color to circulate, okay? So ensure you stir it thoroughly. You stir it thoroughly into your solution now the last one is um fragrance honestly this fragrance you don't need more than uh just like two spoons you don't need more than that do not add more than that your liquid soap will start smelling off just add a little in there a little goes a long way and then ensure to stir the um the perfume or fragrance into your liquid soap thoroughly so when you are done with your production, ensure to check the consistency of your liquid soap. Now, in my own case, the liquid soap was too thick. It was just too thick for me. So I had to add just to, um, about two liters of water. No, exactly two liters of water into the liquid soap. 
and I stirred thoroughly to incorporate or to mix the water into the soap. Just ensure you mix the water very well into your liquid soap. You don't want one side of your liquid soap to be watery and the other side is thick and you know, you just want a smooth and nice consistency. So you just have to stir um, for about 10 minutes to allow the water to mix well with the soap. When you are done with the production, you want to, I produced this around 7 p.m. in the evening. You want to leave for like about five or to eight hours for the top foaming part, that foam you are looking at to settle, please. So I left mine overnight and this is the next morning. Is this not beautiful? So please do not skip that step before dishing your product. You just have to leave for about five to eight hours for the top foam to settle and turn to soap. Now, this is the closer look. The liquid soap is thick. It is not watery. It is not watery and it is not, um, it is not too thick. So it is just right. It is just okay by me. And it foams. Trust me, this liquid soap foams. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dish my liquid soap into some containers. I have 5 liters. I have 10 liters. I have 3 liters. And I also have 500 ml bottle, which is this one. So this is the 500 ml bottle. If you are producing liquid, this liquid soap to sell, if you want to sell, so you just have to pick a container like this one to dish your product. And also, um, please, if you are selling, ensure you pick your packaging carefully. Don't go and produce color pink of uh, liquid soap. And you are now using bottle that has a yellow cover and then your sticker is color green that does not look good please <laughs> that is not going to look good. it's not going to look good so please ensure you pick your packaging carefully for example this my liquid soap is in is color blue um the only cover that goes with color blue is like the blue itself color blue cover or color white cover so please take notes this is just a free tip okay and then when you are doing sticker for your, when you want to make sticker for your uh, liquid soap, you can just, you know, make a mixture of colors like blue and, and uh, color that goes well with blue. Now, this is the final packaging. You know, I produced for personal use. Once I produce this, I'm good for a long time, for about six months. So I can wash plates, clean my towels, and so on and so forth. So I was able to get 35 liters in total. Now I'm going to still analyze the quantity of water I used for this liquid soap. So the base water was 25 liters. Please pay attention. For caustic soda, I mixed it in separate two, what, two liters of water. Then soda hash, two liters of water. STPP, two liters of water. Then color in one liter of water. And then I added extra two liters of water. So the total was 34 liters of water. Now, remember that sulfonic acid has one liter in it. I used one liter of sulfonic acid. So that is 35 liters. And the total of um, the production I was able to do was 35 liters in total. Now, take a look at this. I produced 10 liters. I got 10 liters. Um, I got um, four, five liters and one, three liters and two, 500 mLs. So that's about 35 liters of liquid soap in total. I hope this makes sense. Now, that is everything regarding the production of liquid soap. Um, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your loved one. And I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.